it is my great honor and pleasure to ask President Obama to join me at the podium. President Obama, it is an honor and a privilege to have you here with us today. Before I present your citation, I want to take just a moment to share with everyone here two special gifts that Barnard presented to you just a little while ago. The first was a book entitled Pass It On, Wisdom from the Barnard Class of 2012 to Sasha and Malia Obama. <laughs> The seniors who were so thrilled to have you as their commencement speaker have written their own messages of inspiration to share with Sasha and Malia. We hope that they will enjoy it together, and we want them to know, of course, that they are welcome at Barnard anytime. <laughs> right. The second gift for you and the First Lady was a little light summer reading. Barnard prides itself on our legacy of extraordinary writers. And we wanted, to we wanted to share the wealth by giving you a special collection of books written by Barnard alumni and ins inscribed by the authors. We hope you will enjoy. <laughs> and now I have the great honor of presenting the citation for the President of the United States, Barack Obama. Barack Obama, 44th President of the United States of America. In this exuberant presentation of the college's highest honor, we pay tribute to your leadership of our nation and your place in our world. From 1961 in Honolulu, Hawaii, to this stellar moment in May, the chronicle of your life has enthralled us. The early years in Indonesia that sparked your independence and opened your eyes to the breadth of humanity. College, first at Occidental, and then here, in New York City, where you earned your bachelor's degree from the great Columbia University, on whose lawn we now stand. <laughs> to Chicago, to work with communities in need, and then on to Harvard Law School, becoming the first African-American president of the Harvard Law Review <laughs> and graduating ma magna cum laude in 1991. Returning to Chicago, you deepened your commitment to public service because you understood that grassroots was the way. As your mentor Jerry Kalman put it, if you're not trying to really change things out there, you might as well forget it. Then in 1992, in one of your all-time best slam dunks, you had the good fortune to marry Michelle. <laughs> With her by your side, you served two terms as Illinois State Senator, and just months before winning a U.S. Senate seat representing the land of Lincoln, gave a speech at the 2004 Democratic National Convention that was as brilliant as it was decisive. When you said that we stand on the crossroads of history, perhaps you had no idea that the country and the world would forever know your name. On January 20th, 2009, standing smack on those historical crossroads, you were sworn in as President of the United States. Since then, Then, in three years and 115 days in office, you have led the way on preventing hate crimes and providing affordable health care. <laughs> on reforming student loan programs, credit card debt, and financial regulation. 
You have reinvigorated the auto industry, raised fuel efficiency, and overturned restrictions on stem cell research. You have ended the war in Iraq, turned the tide in Afghanistan, and made certain that, regardless of sexual orientation, those serving our country have the freedom both to ask and to tell. And just days ago, you affirmed your belief that the right to marriage belongs to us all. For women in particular, you have helped to ensure the equal pay we all deserve by signing the Lilly Ledbetter Act into law. You have removed barriers to women in the military, improved access to health services, and repeatedly supported our right to choose. And time and again, you have put your trust in a long list of gifted and remarkable women leaders. Supreme Court Justices Sonia Sotomayor and Elena Kagan. Secretary of State Hillary Clinton. <laughs> Senior Advisor Valerie Jarrett. <laughs> Janet Napolitano, Kathleen Sebelius, Hilda Solis, Susan Rice, Lisa Jackson, women running everything from Homeland Security <laughs> to the EPA. Your wisdom in these selections comes as no surprise, because after all, it is the extraordinary women in your own life who shaped it most profoundly. The strength and level-headedness you learned from your grandmother Toots, the values of honesty, fairness, and independent judgment that your mother Anne instilled, along with her constancy and capacity for wonder. The special bond with your terrific sister and Barnard alumna, Maya. <laughs> The devoted partnership you share with First Lady Michelle Obama, who awes us in her own right, and Sasha and Malia, who give us hope. <laughs> Clearly, Mr. President, you know something that the 594 Barnard graduates seated proudly before you are well on their way to discovering, that there's no opportunity they cannot embrace, no dream they cannot make real. You have demonstrated this truth through your own amazing story, your own compelling example, your own irrepressible spirit. It is a profound honor for us to come together on this historic day, not only to present you, President Barack Obama, with the 2012 Barnard Medal of Distinction, but to give you our unwavering promise to go forth, like you, in pursuit of a sounder, a freer, and a whole lot smarter world. You have our deepest thanks. <laughs>